good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Deck, and I'm back with another ANET printer. This time we're going to build the ET4. So, my friends, let's get cracking. All right, let's pull out some parts here quick. I chopped this up because my fat head was in the video. But first, we pull out the gantry. The foam is snug, but then I put it on the floor. This is the nuts, bolts, and belts. This is the hot end. Remove that big old chunk of foam. Set the heated bed sticker aside and then pull out the base. It's that simple. Step one is simply slide on the hot end and attach the four bolts from underneath. My space here you can see is cramped, but I'll show you why I enjoy this in a minute. Find the four bolts first. To attach underneath, grab those four quick, get them handy. I'm going to grab the wrench for them and have it handy. Uh, once again, love the beveled ends. Set this over here for later. Alrighty friends, as I get ready to attach this, I want this up further so that it's more balanced. Right now it's not where I want it. So I'm going to snip this off, which was a great idea to help it get here uh, supported. That way all your stuff is staying where it's supposed to. Alright, so with it flipped over I can grab that coupler and I can spin it so the hot end is more in the middle of our gantry. Now I love this little table because I'm able to dangle this edge off. It makes it really, really slick when you're attaching this. Uh, but do make sure, unless you've got somebody helping you, you've got all your parts where you can reach them so you're not knocking them off your little table. So I'm going to set this down here. Hot end is slid on. I'm going to pull out the four bolts. And I'm going to dump them in the little tray, which is handy to have. I have the bolt nuts in there as well. Of course, make sure you've got front and front, so you can see uh, this is the hot end coming out towards the A-net sign. And now when we turn this over, I'll spin this so you can see it a little better. This is balancing off the edge so that it's easier to keep everything flat. All right, friends, I am going to speed up this chunk of video because it is simply putting four bolts through and lining them up. The big thing that I do to make my life easier is I dangle these parts over the edges so that it can remain flat, and that way it is much easier to line up. I do not tighten in the four bolts until I have got them all started, and then make sure you do lock them all in place. Boom. Step one, complete. All right, friends, step two is to add the belt. So the belt is in that little pack, and they've got two little hooks that are attached to it, and you simply slide them in to these little grooves back here, making sure that you've got the gears so they're going to connect. So I'm going to slide it in this one, and then I'll actually turn the printer so you can see me doing the other one. So you snug it up so that metal is right there. Then notice you've got the gear side in. Go under your hot end. Let's spin it around so you can see the other connection from the back. This comes around here and it just slides right in that groove. Now there are adjustment screws on the other side. If you need to loosen them you can and it helps you get it in there. But just like that it is attached. And let me spin it around and show you what it looks like from the front. Alright so these four screws can be loosened so that way you can push it closer if you need more room and then once you're using your printer you can loosen these and pull it tight so you've got the right amount of tension on your hot end do make sure you go over and make sure you have the geared teeth on the inside if you're having trouble attaching this these are the little screws that you can loosen so that you can give yourself a little bit more play and then also once you've completed the assembly this is how you can also tighten your belt. So mine, I could have pushed it in, but now they're tight. So now I'm gonna slide it out just a little bit so that the tension on my belt is a little bit more snug. Give it a slight tug. And when you're happy, just hold it in place and tighten it back up. Step three is to attach the cables. When you pull them around, make sure you twist them so you can read the words. They are all labeled. You can see that one says end. And then if you look for the little labels here, you'll find the exact spots where they plug in. <laughs> Trying to keep my hands out of your way. The end plugs in right up there. 
This one's labeled temp, which goes right there. This one is labeled BL, which is right there. This one is fan one, which is right in here. And then last but not least of these cables is LV, which goes right there. Once again, sorry about the hands being in the way. Don't forget that this cable is underneath and goes through this hole. That way you're not dealing with it snagging. And when you snap it in, find the notch so that it connects the right way. Open up the little prongs, slide it in firmly, and you will actually hear or be able to snap them in when they're in all the way. So it'll close up nice and tight. And while we're back here, make sure you push in your Bowden tube. Down on the base, we need to get Z plugged in and we need to do our hotbed cable. Start by removing the foam. All right, they've got this little strip in here so the bed doesn't slide and a uh, pretty slick idea and then I like to pull it out with one of these wrenches. And then when you slide that forward, it's much easier to attach Z, which is back here in the back. There is one of these green ones back here too. I will pop it out. And then because we slid that bed forward, this is super easy to slide in. And then that slides in. And I also like to push this cable as far down so it's one less thing that can run in the way. Got rid of that label too. I'm going to slide this back, reach in front, pull off the tape that was holding the heated bed in place. Pull the heated bed cord back. And it's time to attach this. Pull off the protective covering, and boom, hotbed is attached. Alrighty, friends, the last step is to attach the boat nuts so that we can get this mounted up here. Remember, when you start your boat nuts, it is the flat side that comes up the bolt. And then you can slide it in. You do want to make sure you tighten this on good because the last thing you want is a... 2.2 pound uh, roll of filament coming down on your printer's bed. And then this is simply attached like that. Once again, make sure you have got it solid because you really don't want it to break and uh, that whole weight of the filament come down on your printer. Alrighty friends, so there you have it. That's how easy it is to assemble the ANET ET4. Make sure you stay tuned. I will be making first print videos. They'll be just around the corner. Friends, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.